I just finished making this Queen Anne footstool, and it's time I get a master lesson in upholstery. Today's epic woodworking adventure takes us to the upholstery shop of Joe Portinari, beautifully built into an old post and bean barn. As his lifelong craft and profession, Joe is a true upholstery master. And at 82 years of age, he's still going strong. And like most masters, making it look easier than it really is. Some of my best customers are people that have taken courses in upholstery. You know, years ago we just slapped the weather and we didn't worry about too much where the... It's all gonna blend together. Tight. No. Pretty basic weave. The old dual fast. I bought these in 74. Mm -hmm. I just retired the one that I used like three years ago. Really? From 74. <laughs> That's how, and they never break down. So once the parts wore out, you couldn't get parts anymore. So I had to go to, I went to a few different guns. I went to a few Japanese guns I didn't like. Mm -hmm. And finally they hit the BA gun. That That's the gun right there. That's as good as that going and this one here well it, it's going to be more than uh, i'd say this gun's about five years old mm -hmm. maybe a little more yeah i'm not overly fussy with it yeah, um, you just leave about yeah. half inch space in yeah thing. it's going to give you more than enough oh, more yeah. than enough i could stop right there and you'd have more than enough mm -hmm. All right, so we got the webbing in, huh? Yeah, that looks good. Now, cambrics. You know what a cambric is? No, I don't. It's on the bottom oh, yeah. of every piece. So if anything comes through, it stays in the cambric. It doesn't go on the floor. That little black fabric, it's yeah. thin. So this is the cambric? That's, that's a cambric. That's a duck cloth. Oh, okay. Denim. We call them denims. That's mm -hmm. a denim. Yep. And here again, there are different grades. I buy a good grade. I use this for muslin too. Mm -hmm. I'll even use it sometimes on the bottom, way on the bottom, mm -hmm. if uh, the fabric is a light fabric mm -hmm. and they don't want to show a black or whatever. Yeah. Sweet little saw. Yeah. It's like a, it's like a jigsaw, but it's got a, a spinning blade. Spinning the octagon blade. Hmm. See how it's it's pointed? Mm-hmm. Oh. Oh yeah. This is gonna go on top. Oh, I see. And the cambric, the black will go on top. Oh. My father had a hard time getting used to a staple gun, but once he got used to a staple gun, he would use nothing else. Because it was all glue or before that? No, tax. Oh, tax, of course. It was all tax. Yeah. He, he, when we built our new shop, we were using electric staple guns before we built our new shop. And the salesman came in and said, Joey, you've got to have air. I said, a shop this size. It was a big shop, it was 50 by 100. Mm -hmm. Ten men working, he says, you've got to have a line of air. So we, that's when we, so my father was against me. Uh, he didn't want, he didn't want the, the guns. Um, staple gun period. He didn't like the electric gun. And, uh, 
Yeah, but once you get used to so, it. Is. You got it set up, you got the top set up. I'll never forget the camera, the name of the man was Kenny. And um, put in a real good compressor. I still got this the one I'm using now. 74, still got the same compressor. Mm -hmm. So, set up the line. And uh, <laughs> sure enough, I finally started using the electric gun, the, the air gun. Well, that's all, all of a sudden, that's all he would use. <laughs> so the salesman comes back like five months later or three months later. Somebody spotted him through. Hey, Kenny's coming in. My father, Kenny's, Kenny, and he was using. <laughs> you didn't want Kenny to know that he was using the gun. <laughs> that was the old timers, and they didn't want to show anybody anything, any of the tricks or nothing, you know? Really? All right. Like I say, a lot of manufacturers, they probably at most would have four straps going across and that would be about it. Right. But this is going to last for a long time. But the frame is going to be built for it too. If your mm -hmm. frame is sloppy in here, mm -hmm. it could do this to the frame. Right. This is a medium firm. Okay, that's the MF on the end. And this is uh, two inch thick. Yeah. But, but Yeah, it has a good feel to it. Size. I'm cutting it a little oversized because when I bend it, see what it's going to do? Oh, okay. In fact, a lot of the shops just use carbon lines. Nice. They don't need, they don't bother with that. So we put that there just to add a little crown. Just a little crown. That's a, half, a little crown. Half inch tape crown. Mm -hmm. Like that? Yeah, like whatever you think. That little bit of crown. And that a little more crown, and then by they pulled that down. That looks nice. Okay. Yeah. A little spray adhesive. Yeah. Just a little bit to keep it in place. That's just to hold the foam in place, huh? Yeah. Once we put that that leather, that Daycron on, mm -hmm. it ain't going nowhere. Let's get rid of some of this because that's going to be a lot over. Corner up. Yep. This stuff can be tricky to buy, you know, it's... Quarter inch staples for the day crown.
variable. There's so many different. You want your fold coming off the front, not off the side, because if you coming off the side, when you look at the, when you look at your stool or your bench, you don't want to see the, the pleat here. You want that pleat here. You don't want it here, because mm -hmm. if it's here, you can see that that fold. Okay. So if you get a parker, you just take a couple out, and then you just till I can work it out. Smooth until it, it goes, till it's yeah. out of there. And I might move it right there. Mm -hmm. See how I move that? And you've got to be careful because if you take too much, it exposes it. then you're going to have some problems. I had some brown ones come in. I've never seen black. Want to shine a little bit? Get a uh, see you got a little little scuffies here in the leather. Mm -hmm. Get some uh, red shoe polish. Give it a good shoe polish. Okay. Just like you know, if you ever had the day that you used to shine your shoes, same thing deal. You know? I still shine my shoes. Yeah. yeah. Don't you? Believe it or not, I, I shine these. I've been working on the on that lawn for a month with them. I haven't shined them, but I put a shine on them. You're right. I don't believe you.
good. It feels great. <laughs> and we're down. It's in. That's amazing. Terrific. Beautiful job, Joe. Yeah, you know, it's only a slip C, but if it's not done right, it can be so awful looking. But I think that's perfect size for that, that little bench. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't call it a footstool. I call it a little bench. It's too late, I already call it a oh. footstool. <laughs> Everybody knows it has a Everybody's stool. sitting on the floor and they're going to have their feet. But it's healthier for you. Get the feet above your head and you're going to be fine. <laughs> Good. Perfect. So you happy with that job? Yeah. Joe? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at that. Right down to the black staples. <laughs>